Hey guys, welcome back to This Old Outboard. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert your old 10 horsepower outboard made by Johnson and Evinrude to accommodate a modern style fuel pump so you can hook it up to the any old plastic fuel tank that you can buy at Walmart. And so if you have one of these laying around um, your barn or your grandpa's barn and you don't have the original fuel tank, you may be able to get it running um, if it's still in good condition with this mod. All right, here is the custom bypass cover plate installed. If you hang on to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a new design that I think you'll like even better. And it doesn't look near as clunky or ugly. It'll match the OEM style much better. So make sure you hang out to the end of the video to check it out. All right, so what's so great about your bypass covers and why should I buy them? All right. First thing, it provides a secure location to mount your fuel pump. By secure, what do I mean? I mean, it's not um, just hanging in there, hanging out in the, in the cowling loose, loose and able to float around. Your fuel pump is gonna securely attach to this plate and this plate is gonna securely attach to your power head. This is how Johnson Evinrude, when they went away from the from the pressurized tank, this is where they put their fuel pump. They put it at the bypass cover location. Here's a 18 horsepower bypass cover that has a fuel pump adapter. This is after they changed from the pressure tanks to an actual fuel pump. You can see that the fuel pump stands off quite a bit from the interface. Um, it also has this boss feature, cupped boss feature on the inside. Um, I cannot machine that or include it. I could, I could, but it would cost you a fortune. And the goal of these plates that I provide you is to get you on the water, right? So whatever uh, benefit this adds, um, obviously it's not enough to keep the motor from running. Back in the 50s, these guys were super smart, man. They got us to the moon, but they didn't have CFD. All right, so a lot of these designs were, um, I guess the best word is overkill. So obviously these motors don't need this boss feature to run. So again, I'll reiterate that my plates, while they don't have this boss feature, are intended to get you back on the water with your vintage outboard and have some fun and enjoy gasoline <laughs> while it lasts <laughs> so okay why don't i just go buy um one of their bypass covers well they're extremely hard to find if you can get them perfect that's great but i made these plates so that you can get your your motors back on the water so that's the main reason so what's this hole in the middle this is how the um, crankcase pressure pulse gets to the fuel pump so this hole, nothing goes on it. If you look on the backside of a fuel pump, um, it'll have a hole here, and that's where the diaphragm on the fuel pump senses the pressure, and that causes the pumping action or the siphoning action to draw fuel out of your fuel tank. All right, so when I buy your bypass cover plate, um, what comes with it? Well, I, I, I'm not a reseller of, of the fuel pump. Uh, you'll get this plate, You'll get these two screws and um, you'll have to buy the gasket and the fuel pump on your own. Now, I've taken all the legwork out of finding the gasket or the fuel pump. If you check the video description, I'll put a link to exactly what you need for your motor. Real easy to find. And you can still find them on eBay. So that's what you get. A lot of people ask, do you sell these for other uh, horsepowers? And I'm like, absolutely. So this is your old um, RD, I think is the acronym. It's a 25 or a 35 horsepower um, conversion plate. This is either the FD series um, 15 or 18 horsepower motors. Here's the plate. And then here's obviously the 10 horsepower um, complete plate that we're using in this video. The process for any of these motors is exactly the same as you're seeing in this video. Um, 
like I mentioned earlier, I have um, redesigned the plates for these or this one as well. Um, what I don't have shown here is a seven and a half horsepower. I think it's an 80 series motor. Um, it's it's plate because I've sold out of these old styles and I only have the new style um, bypass cover plate which I'll reveal at the end of the video. So unfortunately I don't have the old style uh, fuel connector here but basically the old style has this top alignment pin in the center and then it has two pins that look like that with the orifice. And so pressure from the motor's crankcase goes out one side, let's say it's this one, pressurizes the fuel tank downstream, which then sends gas up through the other orifice and then into your carburetor. So it's real important that your fuel tank um, be able to hold pressure in which a lot of these old ones, you know, the gaskets are worn out um, it would the fuel tank itself would need to be rebuilt um, if you even have the fuel tank so this mod allows you to uh, change out this fuel connector add a fuel pump and then use any old plastic gas tank that you can get at Walmart so it's really convenient and you don't have to worry about rebuilding your fuel tank as well If your motor has the old still configured for the OEM tank, you're going to want to take off this connector. We'll replace it later in the video, but your OEM connector, um, and then you'll want to remove the two fuel lines. You can see I only have one fuel line because this has already been converted to a fuel pump, but you'll have two fuel lines going into here. One will be going to um, the carburetor bowl here and the other will be hitting this going into this nipple right here that I have capped off and then I will explain why it's capped off later in the video but you'll want to remove all of that and then once you've removed that we'll go to the next step so the first thing you need to do is remove your OEM bypass cover plate it will look just like this but it will be placed right here after you do that Make sure that the either the OEM gasket is in good condition, which this one is, or you have a new gasket on hand and you scrape away all the material on this side um, to make sure that the new gasket will seat well without, without any gaps. Once you have all that done, you can place my custom bypass cover plate with fuel pump adapter on there and screw it in, and I'll show you that. So hopefully this doesn't shake too much or my hand's not in the way, but just screw it in like this and install all four. All right, here is the custom bypass cover plate installed. If you hang on to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a new design that I think you'll like even better and it doesn't look near as clunky or ugly. It'll match the OEM style much better. So make sure you hang out to the end of the video. All right, now that we got the cover installed, we can bring in the fuel pump. You can get this fuel pump um, off Amazon or eBay, a lot of different places. This is um, a pretty standard fuel pump. This small line goes to the bottom of the carburetor and this larger line here coming into the fuel pump will go to the fuel line connection on the other side and i'll show you both in great detail but just letting you know here in case you're wondering this line goes to the bottom of the carburetor bowl and this goes to the fuel tank line connection so you simply place the washer this isn't a washer, this is a gasket. So place the gasket here, place your two screws in, and line it up and screw it in. And then snug it down. 
All right, make sure everything's snug, but not, you know, too terribly tight. You don't want to strip anything. All right, so I mentioned before that this line goes to the fuel line connection, and this little line here, if you trace it, it goes all the way around and on the other side of the carburetor. It goes right into here again. So that is the little line. And then the large line you can see down here snakes around and goes to this fuel connector here. Now, with this conversion, you're going to need a new connector. And I will link that connector, both the male side and the female side, in the video description below, along with everything else that, that you see here. A link to the bypass cover, a link to the gasket part number, everything you need to know, make sure you check out in the video description. So the very last thing you need to do, and one of the most important thing you need to do is to cap off right here, this orifice. So if you had the old two line connector already installed, when you took this off, you would have a line going to here and then a line going to the carburetor. You would need to remove all that. And since we took that line off, you need to cap it. Now, this cap needs to hold. So you can either zip tie it or you can put a little bit of glue um, on there and cap it off. I don't recommend filling the orifice with say JB Weld or some sort of epoxy but there's nothing wrong with gluing a little rubber cap on here if you want. But that has to be done in order for the motor to actually run. If not, the cavity won't hold pressure and it won't run. So it's very important that you cap off that nipple right there. So everything is ready to go out there and to give it a test run. All right, so the next all important question is, will it run? All right, so I got my garden hose hooked up to my garden hose adapter, which I also sell on my, in my eBay store. Basically, you just take off the water intake plate and attach my, um, flush adapter kit it comes with everything the plate the hose the garden hose adapter a couple of zip ties and the coupler here everything comes um, as a complete kit and you just turn on your hose you're gonna see a lot of water spraying out everywhere but that doesn't matter it does get enough water up to the water pump to feed it and to cool the motor which I will show you it will be peeing water but um yeah it's real simple make sure to check it out i'll put another link in the video description so you know where to get it if this is something that interests you but let's check it out and see if my uh my conversion um worked so again now we just have a single line going to the connector to a gas tank like you would get off of uh I don't know, anywhere. You can probably buy them on Amazon or eBay or go to Walmart, Academy. Find them everywhere. But let's crank it up and see if it works.
there you have it. All right, so here's the news that everyone's been waiting for. What's the new design? So, as you can see here, it's still a flat plate, but it's able, it now traces the OEM profile. So you don't have this big, um, junky, flat, square, or actually rectangular plate on the side of your motor. You can put this on there, you can spray paint it to how you want, and it will closer resemble the OEM style um, bypass cover plate. Now, um, the other thing of note is the much older Johnson 10 horsepower that had the, what I would call the turtleback um, cowlings. Um, my old style here, and this is actually an, the, one of the very first prototypes, you can see this, this part right here is really thick. Um, the actual ones that I sell now, I think it's half this height, but this height right here actually made it where the cowling wouldn't close. And so the very old QDs, um, some of the guys reported, or gals, um, issues closing the, ca the cowling. So with this design, you have zero issues closing the very old Johnson QD10 um, cowlings. So, as I mentioned before, um, here are the new designs for the um, 18 horsepower and the 7.5 horsepower. This is also the 15 horsepower um, motors. Um, you can see they match the OEM profile as well. They're the same thickness, super low profile. These, here's the pressure points. These are number 1032 um, fasteners. I made sure... You, I got plenty of threads of engagement. Um, the 25 and the 30 horsepower plate here, it didn't change much because it's all, it's always been this profile here. I've just now been able to um, make these um, and make them affordable, I guess, is really the, the big issue. So I'm excited to introduce these. Um, make sure to go to my eBay store to check them out. Um, hit me up at this old outboard at gmail.com if you have any questions or shoot me a message on ebay i'll respond quickly here is the new seven and a half horsepower plate on a power head this is what you'll get get the plate and two screws you'll have to supply your own fuel pump and gasket but this is what it looks like you see it matches the profile a lot better i also made sure that even if these screws go through the plate they're not going to hit anything like this goes into this little cavity here this goes actually inside the chamber so try to think of everything you know again um, thanks for watching this video if it helped you out please subscribe it helps the channel go to my ebay store um, pick this up if you think it'll help you that also helps my channel and hit that like button and hit the notification bell too um, hopefully I can post um, some more videos shortly. Thanks for watching.